What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the shovel. I was working on the part of ditch a few weeks ago, and around my house, there's no rocks. There's nothing but uh, what we call marl and phosphate material. And uh, here's a cool example of that. It's got all that river stone still in it. You can see the crustaceans or whatever it may be from the salt from the old oceans. Yeah, man, that's just a conglomerate of it. Isn't that wild? To maybe some fossils in here. Can you walk around and check it out? I don't know. Pretty crazy looking layer. Let's go see. I walked the whole ditch and I came back with a theory. So, years ago, when my ancestors owned the land, it was all rice fields. Through the years that they owned it, they, well, they accompanied different land practices logging. Bricks. Other crops that they could grow. A new industrial method was coming around to the old plantations after the Civil War. It's called phosphating. While walking around this ditch, I wonder why my great-grandfather didn't phosphate this. I've seen the records. I know that he leased out thousands of acres around here, but for some reason, he saved this one. I don't know why, but evidence tells me that maybe there just wasn't enough phosphating for them to actually invest in to make a living. You see, it was a very large-scale project. People had to tie in, in other words, you had subcontractors and other people with money that did this. They the old guy that owned this land from a long time ago, well, he couldn't afford to phosphate it, so he subbed out, made his part of it, but he owned the land still. This track, for some reason, that did not happen. If you look, you'll see all the white phosphate rock, I'll call it, in the ground, it goes on. And then the canal, which is an old rice field canal, this is a hand dug canal, probably 200 plus years old. Certain areas show this phosphate. But again, my records show we didn't phosphate it. Probably a good thing land remain beautiful because every piece of land that's been phosphated in this area is totally destruction. It is terrible. It will never be used again. It's still all wetlands with ditches all through it and things. Very, th very few things have happened to that land and it covered thousands of square acres. But what I noticed in this phosphate rock was it's the bottom. It's the pan. There are actual sandstone boulders in here it's so old so that means we're at the very bottom that means also that very rare will we find a lot of bones and sharks teeth and fossils which is what i was hoping i'd see with the phosphate ship we're going to keep looking i have not seen any bone only microorganisms in this what we call fossil but while i'm talking about it I think we better go pick it out. What do you think? Come on. This is the first one I've seen down here. I've not seen any bones or anything, but look here. There it is for all you folks who don't get to do this. I was born in an area where it's very popular and it's just something, you know, it's out there and we find them. I was waiting on it. I was waiting on it, but I wasn't really positive I would see one. Now this is pretty old. It all had to do with the uh, this old phosphate belt that we're in. Look at it. But it would actually take this stuff, crush it to a powder, and it had, it had a lot of uses for it. Fertilizer for vegetables was one of them. Look at all clothing powdered clothing washing detergents well it's no longer on the shelf like that 
because they found out it was pretty toxic and poisonous. In fact, the phosphate factories along Charleston were so polluted in the 80s, if you went down there and caught some shrimp, put them in a styrofoam cooler, pretty much the cooler melted. So there was no fishing or shrimping in that part of the river for years. Well, here's another one of those conglomerate people, as you can see. It's everywhere. And how I know it's just white, there's hardly any black rock in it, I call it, which is the good stuff. The very bottom of that layer that you will find shark's teeth and bones in. You're going to keep walking. You're going to walk this elevation that's along the, the regular elevated land. Let's see if we see any Indian stuff. Well, guys, I was walking just a few minutes from when I last talked to you and just looking for some Indian stuff. And Well, I didn't find anything Indian, but check this out, man. Out. Oh yeah, I like that. How about you? Wasn't so sure I'd find any of those out here today. Let's keep going. It's getting hot, I know that. Well, a couple more minutes and pretty good eye. This is an old one. Whoop. Very old. Sitting around a little bit longer. Broken, but nevertheless. A shock's to it. I followed the ditch across the road and found it was at a higher elevation. Well, we're reaching a certain elevation where things change. So the old Rice Canal ditch comes across a road. There's another five or 600 feet. I walked it, and ironically, there's not one piece of phosphate. Kind of makes sense seeing this is kind of a pine hill. And look at the fine sand. That's some fine material. It's piled up on here on the sides from when the original ditch was dug. It's also pretty deep. But it's still not in the layer of the phosphate. Nice sand though. No phosphate. I can only imagine what great grandfather thought. There's no phosphate that can't make a living over here. And I can only think of what his grandfather thought, using these canals to reservoir water for four or five fields in the middle of a swamp in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina. I don't know how they did things. Well, I'm at the top of the sand layer. Don't believe in the phosphates or anything else is going to show up. It's not where it should be. Now the humidity is kicking in, it's getting pretty hot out here. It's about time I need to head back to the truck and go back to town, I believe. I've been out here for a long time today, and uh, I think I've had enough. Nice to find those shark teeth. I think I'm going to go by my grandbaby's house and drop them off. They like those kind of things. Well, thanks for coming with me on this little short trip. I didn't really think I'd find anything, but just don't ever know. Until next weekend, I'll see you later. I gotta go.